The trial for a Roanoke murder caught on camera may come down to who fired the first shot, killing Michael D. Jackson last year. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez was in the courtroom for the emotional reaction to the security video. He joins us now live in downtown Roanoke. So, Tommy, oh, what are the two sides arguing? The prosecution is saying that this security camera video shows that the man accused here, Shannon Walker, indeed fired the shot that actually ended up killing Jackson, the victim here. But we know that two men fired shots at Jackson. And the defense is saying that it's just not clear from the video exactly what happened. So Walker was in court today, and the prosecution says he got into an argument with the victim, and that ended up leading to both he and another man firing at Jackson, and ultimately Jackson got shot four times. This was at LT store. It's in Northwest Roanoke near Washington Park. This happened last summer. So another man has been accused in this case. He's pleaded to shooting but not killing Jackson. So the debate is over really which shot was the fatal shot and how many shots Walker fired. We did see this security video. The jury saw it too. And it does show the argument, but we haven't really seen close up shots of potential shots that were fired. We may get a better look at that video tomorrow. Uh, friends and family of the victim Jackson were in the courtroom today. They had an emotional reaction to seeing that video. His sister specifically started sobbing and had to step out of the courtroom. They say they've just been devastated in the last year. They can't really understand how this would happen. It just started with an argument at this store. So what the defense wants is for this to go from a murder charge to a lesser charge, uh, voluntary manslaughter. They say this was really just a heat of the moment kind of crime. So the jury heard from five prosecution uh, people testifying today, uh, including police and including a store clerk. Uh, we will hear more testimony, more evidence coming up tomorrow. This trial will last at least through tomorrow, if not into Wednesday. Live in Roanoke, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.